Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer full four. So today guys I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the weekend preview. I'll also be discussing about uh, briefly about the cup games um, We're gonna also look at those real quickly as well We're actually gonna start with the cup games first and so yeah as you guys if you're new out here Consider watching the whole video and please also like the video as well if you did enjoy it. Please smash the like button. I've noticed my like count has been really silly really been low So let's try to hit, aim this one for 10 likes guys 10 likes and also hit the subscribing guys as well. We're very close to reaching 1,100 subscribers. So please, let's try to get 1,100 subscribers by the end of this month, guys. By the end of this month. Anyways, without further introductions, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and actually start with our um, cup games first. Let's start with the cup first cup game. So the first cup game we have, it is Real Madrid um, versus um, Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. Let's quickly touch upon this game. I'm not going to do it too long because these are cup games. And to be honest with you, I don't really care that much about it. But, you know, I still, I still think we should discuss about it briefly. Um, For this one, guys, I just think that for Real Madrid, they're just looking great at the moment. Yeah, and I think that win against Villarreal might have changed their form this season because they got a crucial win away at San Mamez. And I honestly think that win away at Villarreal could be the difference for them to, like, you know, get their form back because prior to that point they've been defensively been not very good i do think atletico madrid can get it at real madrid i wouldn't be surprised but my issue with atletico madrid is just i just don't trust their goal scoring i just feel like when it comes to final third they always underperform and so that's the reason why i cannot really back atletico madrid on this occasion i would love to back them i obviously want them to win but it's just so hard to go it's just so hard to back against real madrid it's real madrid for crying out loud Real Madrid are one of the best clubs in the world. And even when they're not playing so well, they can always grind out a result. They just have them in them. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Real Madrid just about to win this game. It's going to be close. I give them the slight edge, and I'm going to say they win one goal to nil in this occasion. Next game we have here, it is Man City versus Arsenal. Let's quickly touch upon that game real quickly. Obviously, Man City, um, Arsenal have been brilliant this season, getting that win over United. And I believe both teams will play the strongest team on Friday. Now, obviously, I don't know how will both teams rotate. I have a feeling that Arsenal may rotate more just because of the fact that, you know, Arsenal are going to really go in for this. And Man City will also rotate as well. And I just think that for me, man, it's got to be Man City. I would give Arsenal the edge. It's just that or this is a way. And I think because it's a way that's yet, I just don't really know if I could trust Arsenal. See, if this was at Emirates or at Wembley, I give Arsenal. The, I honestly think Arsenal wins. But because of the fact it's a way at the Etihad, I give Etihad, I give Man City a slight advantage, and I do feel as though Man City is going to play in a strong team because you know there's a possibility they could go trophyless and they're already out of the Carabao Cup. So I don't want to, I don't think they're going to take things for granted as they did against Southampton, and I think they'll take this seriously. And I just think as a though Man City is going to win, so I'm going to go with Man City to win. I'm going to go with them to win. I'll say one nil as well. I think both games will be one nil wins. Okay, now let's go talk about the big games. The big games, guys. Let's start with League One, guys. League One. This is a massive, and I mean a massive game for Champions League football, guys. And it's interesting because you look at how good Lens have been this season, and you would probably say to yourself that Lens is going to probably get a European spot. The question is whether it's going to be a Champions League or a Champions League qualifier, you know. And I just think that for me, Monaco this season have been super inconsistent, right? They've... They grant the results. They 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 just don't. They're not that consistent. But what the thing with Monaco is that I notice that in big games they tend to perform pretty well, and I think that could be the saving grace for Monaco because you look at the reverse fixture when Monaco played Marseille. Uh, Monaco actually lost two three at home. So Marseille are coming into this as favorites, of course. Uh, Marseille, you know, having picked up the win in the reverse fixture. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. The odds are also in Marseille's favor as well. So let's go to the win probably. So win probably is from Marseille's 43. Draws 26. And Monaco win is 31%. Let's go and look at the inside. So Marseille won four of the last six games against Monaco in League 1. Including the most recent one, Olympic. Marseille did last to the top flight double over Monaco in 2007 2008. Marseille and Monaco are the two best two sides with most League 1 points since the league resumed in December. While they both scored the most goals during this period. Marseille won the last six games in League One, the longest uh, ongoing stretch run in the division. They won last one more games consecutively between August and October 2014. Monaco winless in their last six games against teams currently in the top seven position in League One. Marseille have had 14 goals scored by defenders and fullbacks in League One this season, double the number of any other side. 
and a defender scored in each of Marseille's last seven top flight games. I think for me, it's a really crucial game for Marseille because I think Marseille needs to win this because as you guys can see, if Marseille does indeed win this, they actually can go jump above Lens. Now that's provided that Lens lose their game, right? Um, and I'll, actually, Lens can draw. Like even if like um, yeah, if Marseille wins and Lens tie, then Marseille can go above. This is such a pivotal game for both teams, and I think for Monaco in particular, they need to pick up a result here. They need to pick up a result here. Um, players will be suspended for this game. Eric Bailey will be suspended, and Kamara is going to be suspended for both teams in particular. I am going to go with the. I'm going to go with the draw. I'm going to go with the draw. I think the draw is a safe pick here. And my logic and reasoning is just that I feel like Marseille is going to dominate the game, but I just feel like Monaco will just turn up in this game. And I feel as though that Marseille, their win, win form is going to it's going to break at some point. And I just feel like they're going to lose, tie this game, which could be really detrimental for them. And as I said, guys, this is a Champions League deciding game. Because, like I said, guys, I think Lens is going to get that second place spot, um, or second or third. And so one of these two is going to make it in. Obviously, um, it's going to be very interesting. And the point margin between the two is interesting because Marseille have a five-point lead over Monaco. Okay, let's go ahead and swiftly move on to La Liga. La Liga, we have here Real Madrid versus Real Sociedad. Now, this is another big game for Real Madrid because they're in the league title race, of course. And um, I think this is a really crucial game in the sense that it's going to really determine whether Real Madrid are actually uh, going to take this as seriously. Because, of course, you know, La Liga is a... Um, um, very much importance. So let's go look at the timeline. So win probably is 57 for draw a win for Real Madrid, 24 is draw, 19% for Sociedad win. So the stats aren't out yet for this game. So it's going to come out next. That's going to come out on Sunday. So the big game. I think for the thing for Real Sociedad, they've been playing so well. They've been playing so well as a team. They look, they look attacking. Their attack looks amazing. Their defense looks amazing. And they actually have the best form of every single team in the league, even better than Barcelona's form. Five wins the last five games, which is pretty incredible. And I just feel like this Real Sociedad team is cooking, man. They're doing something incredible. And I think their victory away at um, Raya Volcano is a very impressive thing because Real Madrid weren't able to beat them. And, of course, we didn't beat them last season. I know we haven't played our away game yet, but um, it just shows how good this team has been. And they're only, like, you know, I know they have played a game more than Real Madrid. Real Madrid and Barca do have a games in hand, of course. So that is worth noting because of their Super Cup, of course. But, yeah, I just think that for Real Sociedad, man, this is going to be such a big game. Can they do this because right now guys they find themselves seven points clear to Villarreal and they're going to go in for the Champions League it's a huge Champions League deciding game and for Real Sociedad as I said David Silva Sorloth you know you have some quality players there or Yazabal my only concern with Sociedad though is their injuries I think the injuries is really piling up to them at the worst possible time and for Real Madrid I just think they're going to win I just think Real Madrid for me yes they may not be playing so well at the moment, but they just know how to win. They just know how to win, and I think they're going to grind up this win, and I think it's going to be a close win. I think it's going to be very close. I just think Real Madrid is going to slightly edge this out. Two goals to one against Real Sociedad. Hopefully, I'm wrong for, you know, being wrong's sake, but um, I just feel like Real Madrid is going to, just going to win. And remember, they're going to be playing after Barca game, so they'll know um, whether or not they can actually go above Barca in the league table. Although, if they, um, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the Bundesliga, guys. Bundesliga, guys. We got some good Bundesliga games here, guys. We got um, Bayern versus Frankfurt. Now, I believe I did the um, I did the um, thing early in the season when Bayern was in scintillating form. When remember, guys, when Bayern played the first game of the season, I think they played the opening game in the season against Frankfurt, and Bayern obliterated them. It was a demolition. Now, do I think the same thing is going to happen here? I actually think this will be a lot more competitive this time around because Bayern have been in super poor form recently. They haven't been great. In the last couple of games, I've been very unimpressed with them. I mean, they just tied at home to Khan today as of recording this video. And then they also tied to Leipzig. They just don't look great at the moment. Musiala has been terrible so far, guys. I don't know what's happened to Musiala. And I actually rate Musiala. I think he's a great player. But he's been staying up recently. Obviously, Lurie Sané has not really been that good. Serge Gnabry as well. Even Goretzka has been underwhelming. And then obviously got Chopo Munting. Chopo Munting has been great. He's been probably Byron's best player this season. But... There's only so much they can do. And I'm looking at this Frankfurt team. I'm looking at players like Wani, Daichi Kamaida. They're such a well-organized team. I really like this Frankfurt team, guys. And this Frankfurt team is no joke. This is a team that I actually think people should not sleep upon. And I actually think Frankfurt can get a result here. I actually think Frankfurt can get a result here. And um, because, like I said, guys, Frankfurt, they're such a well-organized team. And like I said, guys, they always get Bayern some trouble. I think they're, they're another Bayern's bogey team for me um, after Gladbach, of course. So I'm actually going to go on the fence here and I'm actually going to go with the draw for this one. I think Bayern will struggle in this one. I think Bayern will actually take the lead in this game this time around. 
but I think Frankfurt will actually pick them back in the second half. So basically what happened in the Leipzig game, I have a feeling it'll be similar to that. And I just think Leipzig will get, I'm uh, sorry, not Leipzig, Frankfurt will get a crucial point away from home, which could be very crucial for them to get Champions League football. Because as you guys can see, the top four race is looking very, very spicy indeed. Because they're on 30 points. And looking at, so uh, William Billings on 30, Freiburg's on 30, even, um, Wolves are like it's going to be such a great battle for top four. I, I think this might be the best top four race we have in the Bundesliga. So I'm actually going to go with um as I said earlier, I'm going to go with a one one draw, guys. I'm going to go with a one one draw on this one. Next we have is Leverkusen and Dortmund, guys. Another big big game, guys. Huge game at the Bundesliga. Another amazing game to look out for. I think it's another game that people should watch upon. I'm definitely going to try to watch this game. I am. Oh yeah, I can't watch this game. Never mind. I just realized I can't watch this game, but I'll definitely try to watch the highlights. Because this is going to be an insane game, guys. Leverkusen and Dortmund, both teams defensively have not looked great this season. Defensively, they're both really, really bad. But their attack is amazing. Their attack is amazing. And it's such a difficult game to call. Obviously, Dortmund just won against um, Augsburg. Four goals to three at home. Which is kind of concerning that they can see three goals to Augsburg. Like, it's Augsburg, right? I mean, look at the league table, man. They're in the relegation. They're battling relegation, man. So... I just think that for me, guys, like that is concerning. Now, Leverkusen, on the other hand, defensively, have also not been really good. And it's a really interesting one because both teams really need the win here. Because as you guys can see, Leverkusen is climbing up the table slowly but surely. You know, um, they, at the beginning of the season, they were really, really bad. But they're starting to pick up form. And uh, Dortmund as well, they're starting to kind of dip a bit. So it's going to be very interesting for this one. And I'm actually going to go with a draw. I think Dortmund won the reverse fixture, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me double check, actually, before I... Um, let me see. Dortmund versus Bayern. When was that? It happened earlier this season. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Dortmund. Yeah, yeah. Dortmund won the reverse fixture 1-0. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a draw. I'm going to go with a... I'm going to say a 3-3 draw. <laughs> I know it's a crazy score prediction, but let me just say there's going to be a lot of goals and both defenses look crap. So, I am going to go with a high-scoring draw. And now, finally, the final game we have here, guys. The final game. The one, the big one, guys. Napoli versus Roma. This is a massive, and I mean a massive game for both teams. Napoli have been on amazing form this season. 50 points from 19 games. Guys, it's Napoli's title to lose. But here's the thing. Roma are also in a really good race as well. We have a top four race here, guys. With Juventus dropping off, for obvious reasons, you guys can check that video out, by the way. We have now Lazio and Inter and Milan fighting, even Atalanta. We have a really good top four race, guys. And it's going to be such an interesting one because Roma are actually coming into this game in good form. You know, picking up three wins and two draws in the last two games. And obviously, they picked up a huge result against AC Milan on the road. Now, my question for Mal Roma, though, is that once again, is their goal scoring? Is that's going to be the key? Because for Napoli in particular, Cavara, Kavicha will probably not play this game. I believe he's... he's um, um, He's um, got a virus, I believe. So um, that's what it says in the football. And hopefully he can uh, have a speedy recovery, of course. And hopefully he recovers recover well. But as a time of recording, I don't think he's going to be playing this game. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how Napoli does. Because, you know, I'm looking at players like Osman. You look at Elmas, who's been really crucial for N Napoli. And for Roma as a particular, Tammy Abraham. And then obviously Diabella as well. Those are two players to look out for. It's going to be very close. It's going to be very, very close. I think I'm going to give Napoli the slight edge. But I'm going to say this will be close. I'm going to say they win one goal to nil at home, just like they did in the reverse fixture. And I'm going to go to Napoli just about to win this game. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Roma get a draw or even pick up a dub. Although I don't think they're going to win. But I, I could see Roma getting a draw. But I'm going to go to Napoli too. Just about win this one. So I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you guys made it this far, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button as well. Comment up with your thoughts. Make sure you guys share the video with your friends. Hit the member button and click the join button to become a member of the channel to get member streams, members' videos, all the good stuff, priority replies, shout outs as well, etc. And of course, remember, guys, to comment up below your thoughts. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.